Hey Oran, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, we still got 15 more turns of this emergency, and I was looking at Japan, and he would actually join the war against Norway, but he's asking for quite a bit of gold. 12 gold per turn. It would be beneficial because it would give me a diplomatic boost with him for having a common enemy, because right now we are neutral, and I am getting minus 26 because of the grievances. I might be able to get the creation of friendship again. If I get a common enemy, and this is the best way to do so. I could just pay him in a nighter. Let's see if that's going to work. I'm getting 4 nighter per turn, so this is not a big deal. How much gold would he want then? Wait, what? He still wants 12 gold per turn? I could also pay him in diplomatic favor. I mean, that's kind of what it's for. Let's see, how much would this cost us? Let's go for a combination of gold and diplomatic favor. I can give him, let's say, I don't know, 19 diplomatic favor? Or is that too much? Let's say 14. And some gold. And 6 gold per turn. That seems reasonable. Okay, fine. Let's do that then. That's reasonable. I don't want to bankrupt myself. I'm not exactly making bank at the moment. So, other than that, we do have 867 faith, and I could still use more builders. Do we have serfdom active? No, we do not. Let's wait for serfdom. We'll get guilds in 5 turns, and then I can switch to serfdom. And possibly... Two craftsmen? We'll see about that. Anyway, we can still attack a few times. Let's maybe do that. I still want to see what city this is. It might even be their capital, that's what I'm thinking. We'll find out. Just need to get rid of the catapults. It would explain why he's throwing so many units at me from this general direction. That's probably his highest production city. At least the capital usually is. Okay, so that will do. I wonder if I could just peace out with Norway at this point and let Japan fight him. That's not a bad idea, actually. Not all who wander are lost. Because Norway will keep plundering my best trade routes. I don't really want that. Also, the patch is live now. I'm playing with the patch. And one of the biggest changes is to coastal cities. So, for example, the shipyard now gives you plus one production on all unimproved coast tiles for the city. And also, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus is a much better wonder. It was already one of my favorite early game wonders before, but now it's just crazy. You get plus one science, plus one fate, and plus one culture on all coastal tiles for this city and great engineers still get an additional charge. So that's amazing. And another change is that the lighthouse gives you plus two housing if the harbor is adjacent to the city center. Something like that. Let's double check. Pretty sure that was exactly it. I got a lighthouse right here. Yes, plus two housing if this city is adjacent to a coast. And oh yeah, there's nothing about the harbor needing to be adjacent. It's just the city that has to be adjacent to the coast. Okay, that's even better. So, let's continue then, shall we? Hopefully we will get the mausoleum. It's only five turns away. And once I also get a shipyard, these tiles will be amazing. I didn't actually unlock the shipyard yet, but we are working on mass production now. It will be there soon enough. And I'll need it in Mediolanum as soon as possible because that city will benefit from it the most immediately. And it's my only one. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't actually have a harbor yet. So we'll have to build a harbor, probably once the university is finished. Kill this. Uh, he's not dead yet. Well, close enough. And harbor in a Durocortorum? I suppose so. I guess it makes sense. What else can we actually get in here? Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind an encampment. 
just in case we'll end up fighting Japan or something like that. Let's actually get an encampment. It will take a while, but that's okay. I could probably buy the jungle and then remove it. But right now it would cost me basically half of my gold. I'm not quite willing to do that. As for the other cities, I could build the armory, which makes sense. I could also get more units. I do have a bombard queued up. That would be our third or even fourth bombard. That's probably enough. I could get some regular units. A crossbowman wouldn't hurt. I don't need garrisons because my amenities are in the negatives and I do have retinues. I can actually move the pikemen into the city just for that plus one happiness or the knight because he's healing up anyway. So the knight, we got another envoy. I could actually get allied with Vilnius right now if I want to. For the highest active alliance level, all your freighter square districts receive plus 50% adjacency bonus. <laughs> yeah, okay, that bonus is utterly useless for me right now. However, Buenos Aires would certainly not be useless. I could go for that. Now, I could save one envoy by switching my policies in a few turns. Which might be a good idea. Can we get a quick civic after guilds? Not really. 13 turns, that's not exactly quick. Yeah, probably not worth it. Let's just get allied with Buenos Aires right away. And I will be able to send a trade route later, once we end the war with Norway. But for now, let's become the suzerain. And I think that's that. We got a promotion on the bombard, let's just use it. Especially since that's useful. And in theory, I could still go for another city. A Russian city, perhaps. Again, I want to see what exact city this is. We'll find out. How much to upgrade? Oh, right, I do not actually have a professional army active at the moment. As for the builder, well, I could speed up the walls. How about we do that then? Here, two more turns. And then I can use the style for a district. Like an industrial zone. That wouldn't hurt. And we can still kill the catapult. So let's do that. Maybe even the other one. Here's a promotion. That's going to be suppression. Yeah, he denounced me already. That's probably because of the grievances. It's not exactly unexpected, but I need to watch my back. His units are still quite far behind in tech level. But if he attacked me right now, I would have a hard time. Because I only really have two crossbowmen in the area. Yeah, we need to watch our back. Might be a better idea to wrap up our business here. He is busy right now because he is fighting Norway, but that might not last very long. Because as you remember, one of the first wars I started between the AIs was early in this game, between Norway and Russia. And Norway ended that war very quickly. I don't think it even lasted 10 turns. They were at peace very quickly. Anyway, urban warfare or... Yeah, plus 7 combat strength versus anti cavalry units, that's fine. So, what the heck is this city? Well... We'll find out. Yeah, no need for a farm, I'll be using this style for a district. Let's get a quarry right here. And does that, I can send the legion to investigate that city. Or the musket men. And yeah, I don't need a builder to repair this, but again, I'm specifically waiting for Serbdom. It's not like we're entering the next era just yet. We got at least 10 turns, probably more than that. If I had to guess. There's no rush. Alright then. He wants gold. I'm not giving you gold, I literally just gave you gold to start a war with Norway. But I should definitely get more defenses. A few more ranged units. 
World Congress. Yeah, city-state emergency. I will vote against that. Hopefully this will be enough. Let's find out. It was enough. Okay, good. Carry on then. I could move the other crossbowman across. Because this guy has two attacks per turn. That might be useful. Just need to be careful how exactly I move him. Would be a little bit awkward to lose him. Yeah, definitely not just yet. And in our pinom we can grab a water mill. There's a crossbowman, almost finished. Okay, sounds good to me. I can actually attack? No, I can't. Never mind then. Let's get to that quarry and kill the swordsman. Okay, done. I got so much experience from this emergency, it's actually crazy. Alright, how do we do this? Let's send the Masked Man, that's the toughest unit I got. So that just makes sense. Depending on how strong the city is going to be, I might be able to take it pretty quickly with my bombards. You saw how quickly I took Kabul. And I'm about to get another bombard in three turns. We'll see. I don't have too many grievances with Russia right now. 50. With Norway I got... yeah, he has 364 towards me. That's a little bit much. Can we actually peace out with Norway? And just leave Japan fighting him? No. Okay, fine, whatever. Because I would like to have full control of Stavanger. Or rather, without penalties. Because right now we are getting a penalty. Might want to back up. You can't go around arresting and we got guilds. First, let's back up with the Legion. Wouldn't want to lose him. And let's change our policies first. We definitely want serfdom. I can remove Medina Quarter temporarily. I'm keeping caravansaries. But yes, let's get serfdom. Do we need a professional army? Kind of? I think I still got units that could use promotions. Yes, I do. I mean, the legions, for example. We definitely want a professional army. I'm not making a lot of gold, but I can afford an upgrade or two. And I'm keeping retainers. And we can switch from charismatic leader, but like there's no need anymore. There are still city-states where I have zero envoys, but I'll be focusing on the three city-states that I'm already a suzerain of. Russia is still sending catapults. How many friggin' catapults did they send by now? A lot, apparently. Well, alright. Whatever floats his boat. There's the city, so that's his actual capital. Only 48 combat strength. I might be able to take that city. I'm actually thinking I might be able to take it. We can give it a shot, it would be nice to take his capital. With the third bombard, I can do a lot of damage in a short time period. It's worth a try. It's definitely worth a try. So, what's happening? Now we need a harbor, especially since the patch is live. So, right here, that's plus three. As for the next civic, I could get divine right to change policies faster, but let's actually research something useful. Like diplomatic service. It's unlikely I'll be getting an alliance with another civilization. So, let's get that. And this is useful, I suppose? Kind of. Oh yeah, we will get the ability to construct a spy. That is definitely useful. And now I probably need an industrial zone. So, right here. In theory, I could replace the wheat, or even the rice, and get plus 5. I'm actually thinking it might be worth removing the rice. Plus 5 is a really nice industrial zone. Yeah, we should do that. Especially since I'm about to fight by some builders. Let's do it! Okay, so one builder is 175 faith. 
I'd want at least two of them, I would say. Maybe one more near Rome. Rome can still benefit from a builder, certainly. And I still have enough for more. And in this general area, near Stavanger. And also in Mediolanum to repair the tiles. Okay. And I still got more fade. Don't need one here all that much. Uh, this guy only has one build left. So I could get a fishery. In theory. And also a pasture. Okay, let's grab one in here. Because I need that for fisheries and such. And that's that. That's all the builders I can currently buy. And I'm going to build the industrial zone here. We can harvest the rice. I just need to build something else. At least for like a turn or two. How's the great person situation? Because we could actually research grants. Are we anywhere close to like a great artist or so? Well, no. We are pretty close to another great scientist. The next great engineer is really nice. I would definitely like to get him. But obviously I can't do that in a city that doesn't even have an industrial zone yet. I can start a unit. Might be best. Or just start a builder. I mean, I'll need builders in the future. So that makes sense. Yeah, let's just start a builder. I don't have to finish him. At least not yet. Anyway, let's see, how do we do this? Let's stay fortified for now, because the units in the back cannot actually move. Not on this turn, anyway. I can upgrade the battering ram, but, I mean, I don't really need a siege tower all that much. I can destroy this garrison pretty quickly. And it's too far away. So that's just completely unnecessary. What about the governor title? What can we do here? Well, there are a few options. I don't quite need waterworks. I could promote Pingala. No, that's not needed. I could get a new governor, like Amani. Having Amani in, let's say, Geneva would be useful. And it would be useful to have her in general, actually. I think I'll grab Amani then. Let's do that. And we can send her to Geneva. Sure. It's worth it. It's just one governor title anyway. And now we are done with that turn. That was a pretty damn long turn. Alright, Russia. Yep, I'm glad I kept the pikemen slightly in the back. I will still try to peace out with Norway. But we'll see about that. How's the mausoleum? It will be done on the next turn. And then we can build the shipyard, because I literally just unlocked that. I have to back up here. Obviously. Don't want that guy to get killed. Let's stay outside of the city's bombardment range until we actually kill the units. I don't know if I will be able to take it. That will depend on how many units Russia is going to throw at me. If I want to disembark with the Bombard, I don't actually need the Legion over here. Which might be a little bit dangerous. Oh, I can't move him anymore. Fair enough. Uh, let's just disembark then. He should survive, even if they focus on him. I can still attack. I don't think I can kill anything else. Just do some damage. That will do. And fortify with the musket men. And let's send the crossbowman south. He's not needed here anymore. Nope, not really. Back up. The knight is back at full health. Can we negotiate with Norway? Nope. Okay, fine, whatever. We got 10 more turns of the military emergency. And let's put the builders to good use. There's another bombard almost finished. That will certainly come in handy. That will give us a total of four bombards on the next turn. I just need to kill all these units defending his capital. Which might be a little bit tricky. I assume he's focused on military production. I know I would be. 
so this guy was supposed to harvest the rice. First I have to remove the improvement and then I can harvest the rice. So that's fine. More experience for us. And there's a promotion. I still want to move that crossbowman. Let's start moving him towards the city. Sounds good. I will feel safer once we actually finish that encampment. Now I could upgrade the legion right now, which might not be a terrible idea. He will heal faster because he's inside my territory. Let's upgrade him. I can't upgrade this dude because that's not my territory, obviously. Yep, he got killed. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. A vast tomb. And there's the mausoleum. In Halicarnassus. So now, once we get to the shipyard, these tiles are going to be amazing. They are already so good. But now we need the shipyard. Preferably as soon as possible. Alright, harvest. And then we can switch to industrial zone. That's going to be a plus 5 industrial zone. And I can finish the builder once that's done. Why not? Alright, there's the bombard. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely have to kill all the units defending the area. There's no way I'm taking the city otherwise. Definitely not. Well then, let's work on that. That forested hill will be quite useful. It didn't kill the catapult, sadly. Finish it off. And that's basically it. Nope, not quite. There, two more attacks. He's dead, nice one. That was a lot of damage. Shame about the Legion, but that's fine, I can live with that. Kabul. Don't quite need an encampment. I could actually use an entertainment complex, but this is a decent spot for an industrial zone. Let's get an industrial zone. You can't go wrong with more production. Also, I can actually build the Great Zimbabwe in Rome. And we should definitely do that, that is such a nice wonder. Let's build it then, up here. Sure, let's do that. It won't even take that long. And I can speed it up by removing the jungle. So I will do that. I could speed it up even more if I move Magnus. Which might not be a terrible idea. It seems I need a governor in Stavanger. I would have to move Pingala out of Rome. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I could move Pingala to a city that also has 9 population. That's Mediolanum, basically. Or, wait, this one. This is my highest population city right now. Let's move Pingala there. Because Researcher is based on population. Yep, sounds good. And we'll wait 5 turns for Magnus. Okay, so you will go to Rome. And I also need to move Victor to Scavenger. Okay, sure. I don't think he's needed in Kabul. Here. Sounds good. More experience for us. Kill the knight and heal the crossbowman. And attack the catapult, I suppose. So, what else? Or are we done? What can we do with our builders? I still don't have the weed. It would cost me a little bit too much. Oh, hold on, we will get one literally on the next turn. Let's set up to improve it then. And the pikeman actually has a promotion. Let's use it. Okay. And now we are done, I think. For the most part. Here. Are we there yet? These turns are getting pretty damn long, but I do have a lot of units. And they are still attacking me. We are making minus 0.1 gold per turn. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I do have all of my trade routes. Minus 5 gold now. I'm probably paying quite a lot in unit maintenance. Minus 41 from units, minus 40 from cities. And I'm paying Japan 6 gold per turn for that war. Is he still at war? Yes, he is. Good. He is also friendly with Russia, which I don't like too much. Alright, back to Russia. We might be able to take his capital. I would like to do it, but we'll see. I would also like to not lose any more units. 
yeah, he has a lot around here. It's not exactly surprising. I don't think I can kill the swordsman. But if I back up, he will probably enter the hill. If I stay here with their crossbowmen, I might take a little bit too much damage. I got two catapults in my range, and the swordsman will attack me. Let's play it safe and back up one tile. The bombard should be okay, even if the swordsman attacks it directly. I'd rather attack him myself. The problem is that it won't do that much damage. I could back up a bit. Alright, let's just back up slightly. I'm playing it safe. And I think we had enough of military production. I need something else at this point. I could actually go for industrial zone logistics. Wait, no, that's not what I thought it is. No, it will provide great engineer points once finished. So that's a possibility. Are we close to a great general? Because I could go for encampment training. Let's take a look. We are not... Well, sort of, like halfway there. I would need a ton of fate to actually buy the rest with fate. Not worth it. Let's just grab a tempo. It's not super useful, but it might come in handy at some point. Also, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.